Hey guys, welcome to the challenge video. Are you ready? No, I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not gonna start this. I can't do that. Forget about that. I'm here with a little bit of a different kind of video. I'm gonna show you a couple different names, techniques, and different ways to go about using your balloons. So first off, let's blow up a balloon. No, blow it up about halfway if you want. Now, when I blow up a balloon, obviously I'm blowing it with my lungs, which is difficult. Only about 10% of the people in the entire world can actually blow up one of these balloons by mouth. So it is difficult. If you see me doing that and you're like, I can't do that, don't worry about it. Uh, most people can't. I learned how to do this when I was 13. Uh, I love a challenge, and so I decided to, to just go for it. <laughs> Anyways, you can use a pump. There's lots of good pumps out there. Anyway, so after you got your balloon blown up, you do need to tie it. But before you tie it, burp it. Just let out a little bit of air. I don't know if you can hear that. Just let it out. Tiny bit of air. And tie it. Now, the way I tie a balloon, I'm told is a lot different than most people. So let me uh, give you a close-up on that. So put your fingers together like that. Pinky on the inside facing you. And the rest of the fingers on the other side. Now, make your fingers like shooting a gun. Pew, pew. Don't shoot anybody. Rotate that inwards. Put it through. There we go. Pull out, twist. Now take that nozzle, whoop, take that nozzle, slide it down, whoop, slide it down there. And I'm gonna pull out and push with my thumb, pull that out. Yeah. I can do it very quickly. And the reason, one of the main reasons why I started uh, tying balloons that way is because when you tie enough balloons as a professional balloon twister, it starts to eat away at your fingers. Your fingers become a little bit raw. But doing it that the way that I do it actually lessens how how uh, bad the effect is on your fingers. In my opinion, you guys are free to do it however you want to do it. All right, the first things first thing I'm going to teach you is how to do a tulip twist. So you take your finger and put it right inside there and just push in. And can see the knot in there? See it? Stick it up. What we're gonna do with these two fingers, I'm gonna pinch that raisin. Well, we call it a raisin sometimes. Uh, you'll understand that later on. <laughs> I'll explain it soon. I'm gonna grab that with these two fingers and pull this finger back out. Now you can see I've got that right there. I'm gonna twist it. I'm gonna twist it with the little raisin little knot on that side of the twist. You can see it. Right there. Now, if I let go, it's gonna come undone. Well, it can come undone. If you wiggle around. Anyways, you want to push that back into this balloon. There you go. Now it is completely safe. You can, kids can mess with it, um, and it's not very likely to come undone. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is a pinch twist. So I come down here a little bit. So for a pinch twist, you want to make a one-inch bubble. And fold the balloons over. What you do is you pinch it, pull it, and twist it. A little pinch twist. There you go. All right. I want to show you how to make a double pinch twist. Now you could just make two pinch twists. I, mean, I can make a second pinch twist right there. There we go. That that works. But if you want to save a little bit of time, what you can do like here. Make two one-inch bubbles. One. Two, pinch twist them both like that, then take this balloon and just run it through, just kind of roll it and it'll roll through those. Just once or twice, and now you have a double pinch twist. Alright, I hope you guys are still following me. Alright, next thing we want to do is a loop twist. So, a loop twist is a lot of fun. Just fold the balloon over and twist. That's it. Twist it right into that uh, double ear twist or pinch twist. Push that in there. If you make it really small, it's basically a pinch twist. Okay. You want to make it a little bit bigger than that. That is a pedal twist. So that's like a pedal. Or if you make it bigger, you, know, you can call it a pedal twist, a loop twist, however you want to do that. Just lock that in here. There we go. 
Here's a fun thing. Push that through here. It's kind of a uh, uh, poodle face there. Anyways, Whoop. all the way down here. All right, I want to show you a B body roll through. So you're gonna make one bubble about three inches long, another bubble three inches long, however, whatever size you need for what you're making. Put that there, and a third one. So a sh you're gonna roll that through. So you push it in the back, and it comes through in the front. You see that? Push it in the back, comes through the front. That's locked in there. Looks kind of like a, a, a bird body, I guess. Um, we use that for a lot of birds and many, many other things you'll find. All right, we've got a nice big old mess right here. I want to show you one last thing. Well, with this, I'm, I did promise you something else earlier. So, I'm not done yet. I'm going to do a poodle's tail. <gasps> it's just that simple. Well, let me uh, get down to the science. Well, not the science of it. There is science to it, but... Not your man, I'm sorry. All right, so what you're gonna do is put your fingers right here so that you're kind of pinching off there, but don't completely pinch it off. Just make sure the balloon cannot expand any. Put your hand right here, and what you're gonna be doing, you, know, you got pinched, with, pinched or uh, twisted right there, so it's fine. Air's not gonna get back down there. You're actually not pushing the air up, you're pushing the air down. So squeeze the air down, and it's forced because there's nowhere else to go, it's forced up. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Then, if you have some fun with it, or one thing I like to do, like grab it and go, just throw it on. And you can pinch it off. All you have to do is pinch the balloon. The air will automatically go out of it. And pretend like you have something in your hand. You can just throw it back on. And the moment you throw, just squeeze. Or you can even go, <laughs> yeah, have fun with it. I have played around with that with kids. It's so much fun. So much fun. You will have a blast with it. Alright, not done yet. Let me get another balloon. Alright, so this one is broken balloon. I'm just going to take a piece of it. Break off a little piece. There you go. Just a little piece of a balloon. Normally, it would be scraps. You wouldn't need it anymore. I'm just tying knots in it. Just tie a bunch of knots in it. What you want to create is one big knot. You guys see we're a little zoom in there. Oop. Oh. Just tying knots and knots. Alright, we got a, a decent sized knot there. See that? Yeah? Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip off the two ends. Just kind of pull it off. It comes with practice. Oop. And I just undid some of the knots. Let's uh, tie a few more knots then, because I accidentally undid a few. Remember, the goal is one big knot. Alright, get rid of that. So we got a little knot here. What we're going to do, we're going to take that to get a balloon, and we're going to drop that into the nozzle of the balloon. Can you see that? There we go. Drop that right in there. It's right there in the balloon, and we can blow up the balloon. You hear it? Alright. Tie it off. It's just in there rattling. It's a lot of fun. In fact, you can make a bunch of these and turn them into like a rattler for a rattlesnake. Alright, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm getting carried away. Alright, let me get another balloon out here. There we go. That off a little fast. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a double pinch twist right here. And take the nozzle, because on the end, take the nozzle and wrap it in. I right, got that. Alright, now what I'm gonna do, go back to this balloon. I'm gonna find that, make a little U shape, find it. There we go, I just, just had it. There we go. Find that little raisin, you see that? I'm gonna twist it off right there. This is called a raisin twist. I'll twist that off, and you can twist your balloon there, but that's really hard. So what? Where 
that balloon go? So what you can do is take another balloon or a piece of balloon and wrap that around it real fast. And you just want to give it a quick tie. Tie that. Yeah. You have captured the raisin. Here, now you can use this to twist another balloon onto the surface of that balloon. Isn't that cool? Just attached right in there. Pretty cool, right? Alright, I'm going to detach it because I want to show you another cool thing. I'm just going to break this off. Tie that off. Tie that off. So we just randomly have that on the side of it. I'm going to blast here. Alright, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to tie these two together. So I'm attaching these two balloons. And we're going to use that tulip twist to do something really cool. So push it in this way. Grab that knot. Remember, the knot has to be on that side of the pin. Twist it. And secure it in there. Now, that's another way to attach two balloons together. And you can use that for like a sleeve. Imagine for a second. Like a little, like a little arm right here. This was a guy, a little sleeve. And then go off into the hand. You know, that could be the cuff of the shirt. You know, just have fun with it. Um, I might make another one of these videos in a while. I hope you guys learned something. hope you had fun and enjoy. See you next time.